A lot of emotion between Ty Dillon and Kevin Harvick as well. First, what happened on track? Well, uh, just hard racing there, and, and we definitely had a faster car, and uh, he was kind of hogging the bottom. And uh, I just kept diving to the inside, and uh, as you can see there, I was I was low, and he kept he kept chopping down, chopping down. So, um, you know, it's getting down to the end of the race, and I gave him a tap, and uh, he got sideways. Then he hit the brakes to try and brake check me in the middle of the corner, and the 88 hit me and just finished him off. Uh, so um, I can't believe... Uh, that kind of happened, you know. I was, you know, that's that stunk the the wreck part. But to, to tear a truck up after the race and totally take us out of the race, and then not to stick around after the race to walk off, uh, not even want to say anything to me. I'm sure he's tweeting something now about it. So uh, um, can't even face me after it. I'm a little pretty disappointed in the things that uh, just went down. Uh, I used to look up to that guy, but uh, I guess he doesn't understand the circumstances uh, of what's going on. Uh, I understand it's tough racing down there in one and two. Uh, at Martinsville, you know, we wrecked, but to, to tear a truck up after the race and act like a punk on the track and on pit road and stop my pit road on my pit stall where my guys were coming out, uh, that was uh, pretty ridiculous and uh, not happy with them. And for him to not even stick around, that's, uh, that's pretty sad, too.